In this lesson, we're going to work on the checker function, and this is the one that's going to check to see if we've got the right answer. So what we need to do is we need to get the content that's contained within the element, and we can get that from the event target and outputting the text content of that element. Let's create a variable that's going to hold the e target. You can console log out and select text content that's contained there. So that way we can see what was clicked and we can see that if this gets clicked, it's going to output the blue blue if it pink gets clicked. So this is the one that's outputting the content. And then both of these console messages are actually just outputting the answer. So now we have a way to check what was clicked. And we also know what the answer is. So we can do a condition to check to see if the player selected the right value. So we've got it within the text content is equal to the answer that we provided. And if it is, then for now what we can do is we can console log correct. And if it's wrong, so just do an else, and console log that it's incorrect or wrong. And then we'll provide that information to the user. So let's clear the console and click yellow. We see it's wrong. I click blue. We see it's correct. So we've got all of the core functionality that we need. And then coming up, we need to increase the game value. And then we also need to show the next button as well. So taking the next style and applying style of display block to it. So that's going to show that next button and allow the player to move on to the next value. So they make a selection. We tell them that it's wrong or we should be putting a message that it's wrong. And then they can move to the next one. So do you like JavaScript? Yes, no, don't know. And the answer is yes. So that's correct and we can move to the next one and then we've got the last question. So there's a bunch of things that we still need to do to troubleshoot and to bug check this. Uh, so also I wanted to output to the user whether they got it right or wrong. So let's output that information into the text content of the button. So text content of the button is going to say and if it's wrong because remember you always have to output that content the player is not going to be looking in the console so let's we'll say wrong. So we'll apply some styling and all of that is still coming up and we've got the score. So we need to increment the score if they got it correct. So let's do blue, correct, click to move to the next question. Wrong, click to move to the next question. And then we also need to handle when there aren't any more questions. So wrong, move to the next question. And we can't read the property of question undefined because we don't have a question number four. So there's only three questions. So there's a bunch of things that we still need to take care of. But this was the core functionality that we needed within the application. And next is just doing some styling and making sure that we can play through the game and that we have a way to complete the game when we run out of questions. So all of that is still yet to come. Go ahead and add in to your checker function, the ability to check if it's correct and wrong and also track the score and output the results of the selection within the text content. So there's quite a few things to come and that's coming up in the next lesson.